Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, good evening. Very good. And you? Well, as always, busy. a little bit busy. Yeah, but <laughs> now I'm in class. I forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> I see you always busy. You have a lot of work to do. Yes, 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 because, um, well, we've got a, a small business in, in transport for uh, personnel and also for touristic. Oh, so it's a lot to do, right? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I can understand that. That's a lot of things. It seems like a lot of work to do. Yeah. Too much sometimes uh, as i said last time um my my uh, my husband take me with him to to help him to help him to um interpret to be an interpreter for people who doesn't speak in me in spanish uh, because uh, sometimes it comes people who speaks only english and sometimes people who, who speaks only french Oh, okay. That's that's very good. I didn't know some French people were coming here. Yeah, I, yeah. For air from Air France, for example. I didn't know that. That's something new. Yeah. Okay. yeah but, but well, eh, when we say as we say say in Spanish, a las quinientas, but they come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it most commonly American people are the only ones that come like very common to El Salvador, but French yeah. people or someone who speaks French, it's mm -hmm. kind of like once in a while, right? Mm -hmm. Once in a while, of course, but uh, also uh, are coming people who uh, who are from Egypt, I are Egyptian people, you know, but they speak English, but and nothing to do with American learning English. Yeah, nothing the, to do with their accent is really difficult to understand because you know their mm -hmm. their language, their native language is really difficult to speak. Uh, or yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird, let's say for us, because we don't listen to that very common. But I mean at the end it's it's very good because you're learning like you're having those experience that will help you out to improve your English, to speak with someone, to try to be a, an interpreter. And that's something really cool that that experience will help. You. Yeah, of course. That, that is why all the time I'm a little bit busy, you know. Yeah, I understand that. Hello, yeah. welcome, Basilia. Good evening. Ricardo, good evening, good evening. welcome. Katya as well, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Well, guys, unfortunately, today is going to be the last day that I'm going to be with you. I don't know. Really? If, yes, I don't know if I'm going to be with you for the next model or it's going to be someone else. But since now, let me tell you that has been a pleasure for me to, to be with you. You're very intelligent guys. I know that you will do it. I know that you will learn English. So um, it's been a pleasure for me to help you or to guide you through this process, okay? Thank you. So I don't know if the other ones are going to be connecting today. It seems like they are not. But I know that in some places in El Salvador, it's raining, right? Is it raining mm -hmm. in your houses? No? Um, not in mine. Not in mine. Oh, okay. So probably the, the, the storm, it is like in different places around El Salvador, but not the whole Salvador. So, but it's nice to see you again, guys. And well, for today, as I mentioned to you yesterday, we will have like a little review of the last topic that we, all the topics that we have seen through the through this module. So we're going to practice a little bit about that. 
and uh, we will also we will have fun learning English, right? So okay. I'm so happy to see you again. We're just six, well, actually five, right? But we're going to start now because time is gold. So, um, well, so as I was telling you before, it is really nice to see that you're going through a new module. And well, I'm so happy for you because I know that you're, all of you are intelligent. So um, hopefully we have learned a lot, right? So uh, let me see, I'm just going to wait for the other ones that probably are going to be connecting to, to the station for today. So how are you guys doing, the other ones? Welcome, Karen. Welcome, Liliana. Good evening to you. And um, well, it seems that we're going to be the only ones today. So for today, guys, we will have a little review of adverbs, a little review of conjunctions. And also, we will have some practices. Because before going to the topics that you didn't understand that well, we're going to have some practice to see or to let me know what are the mistakes you're doing or what, what was the reason why you didn't understand them that well. So um, now we're going to, let me see. All right, so um, we, because we're just seven of us today, I'm going to share the, some exercises that we are going to be working with. Um, let's see. This one's working with conjunctions. Okay, here we have. All right, cool. So can you see it? Like uh, the one that says, let's practice. Can you see it? All right, so please take some photos right now. So this is, these are the exercises which we're going to start today. Okay, do you ready to take the picture? Ready the picture, teacher. Okay. And also this one. Okay. Okay, is it done? Yes. Okay, cool. So I will stop sharing right now the screen. And because we are just nine, you all are going to be working together as a whole group right now. So if, okay. so, if someone else gets connected, you all have to give the instructions or what are you going to do? So first of all, in the first part, what are you going to do? Well, and both of them, right? And the first part, you are going to use the coordinating conjunctions. What do you remember about that? Let me ask. Let me see. Eunice, what do you remember about conjunctions or something that comes to your mind when you listen to conjunctions? Okay, conjunctions are words that connect it two parts of a sentence or two ideas. Correct. So what do any, any coordinating conjunctions that you might remember, Katya? Anyone? Oh, I cannot hear what you're saying. Yes, I remember that um, 
a war fan fanboy more or less fanboy. yeah fanboy that, that was yeah yeah or in um um in but 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 or yeah all of them yeah you're right thank you so much for your help so um so guys we are going to be working on those on those exercises right now before going to the main topic, okay? Why? Because I want to see what do you remember about that? And we are going to start yeah. from there, okay? So remember, everybody is going to be working as a whole. What am I going to be doing? I'm just going to be checking the way you communicate each other, okay? So start now. Start working on that. So everybody, if you have any question, ask to the other ones, yes? And try to okay. keep working on that right now. So please, any of, your, uh, any of the classmates, please give the instructions to the ones that are getting connected right now so they can know what we are going to do. No se peleen, vea, solo voluntario. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, and number one, I like English, but I like French very much, maybe. It could be. I like English and I like French. Remember, everyone is going to be working together. You are all a group. So if you don't understand, ask between yourselves, okay? Number one, uh, what do you believe it is better, uh, and or 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 but? Uh, I think it's and but. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like English and I like French very much. Mm. Mm, but and and but. It could be. Yes. Okay. It's number. But number one. Number. Two. I think it is nor. No. Nor. No. I like English, nor I like French very much. I like English. Maybe it's or, or like, or no. No. Oh, I, I don't God. think yes. it is. Um, or. Yes. So. So, so he doesn't like. Oh, um, maybe. But he does like. But maybe. But he doesn't like number three. And although, ah, uh, in the first one it could be I like English, although I like French very much too. <sighs> three. Maybe. Their homework. And the teacher was angry with them. Y el teacher se enojó. So the teacher was angry with them. <laughs> and be so. Y so, the tree. I think. Okay. Is the second? I don't the hear. The second is but. But. Okay. Mm. 11 heads working, guys. Let me see what you got. I know you're intelligent. So everybody, <laughs> keep on doing what you're doing. So I see Stephanie, I see Katia, I see Karen, I see Sandra, Araceli, Basilia participating, but the other ones yes. are not participating. Can you read? Can you read? Can you read? Write English word. Ah, can you read and write English word? Or write English word. Or. Or write. Or write. It's great. Or. In the in the in the left five it's. Are the question right? Right or wrong? Or. And what? It's, it's all. 
end. The number six is and. 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 Great. And. And. Great and Great. fun. And it's, it's fun. It's fun, yes. Number four. 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 Our car is old, but it drives beautifully. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. What is the answer in the number eight, please? But, 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 but thank you. It was very, it very well. It's very well. We went swimming. So we all went swimming. Yeah, so we all went swimming. And then we have French and then we have so and number nine. So, 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 do we have French or or is um, what? Oh, do we have French? Do we have or music after the break? For music. Or music after the break. Yes, or. Or, yes. The boat could not move. There was no. Wind. <laughs> the bat could not move. Well, this means things. Remember that in the things there was there was. It's necessary to remember the rule. There's a rule that we need to remember. Fear or cute. Do not forget that because that's what I was going to spell. I don't listen much. <sighs> Although they are uh, they, they eat more. You know, your flowers. I took my umbrella. It was raining. It was. Has it was raining? Maybe is the bot could not move science. There was no windy. Things there. Yes. The boat could not move since there, there was, was no science. There was no windy. Wind. No wind. No wind. Yes. The bot no could wind. not move science. There was since. no wind. Since. Uh -huh. There was, ajá, uh ajá, -huh. uh -huh. el bote no pudo moverse ya que no había viento, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Number two is 
They are cute. And food, they, they eat all your flowers. Flower. All of the day, eat all your flowers. Okay, I... I put my umbrella. I see it was raining. Mm -hmm. Oh, they eat all your flowers. They are cute. Um, I took my umbrella as it was raining. And I think is there there are killed as rule they eat all flowers. Uh, they eat all your flowers. There are cute, although they eat all your flowers. Yes. But I don't know. Okay, so I think that, that you, you already finished, right? So I think that you did a job now. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to check if your answers are correct. So I'm going to be asking randomly. For example, on the first exercise, I can see here that we have 10. And in the class, we are 13. So I'm going to give you a number and pay attention to it. Number one, Sandra. Number two, Eunice. Number three, Katia. Number four, Basilia. Number five, Stephanie Roxana. Number six, Ricardo. Number seven, Liliana. Number eight, Reinaldo. Number nine, Joaquin. And number 10, Karen Melendez. And the other ones, Candida Reyes, she will do the first exercise on the part two. And uh, who else? Liliana is going to do uh, an num exercise number two from, from part two. Two, okay, so go ahead. Let me see what you have. Okay, um, I like English, although I like French very much. Okay, let me ask you right now. What is the conjunction that we use in order to connect two things? Uh, well, that. The coordinating conjunctions. I'm sorry, so then is uh, but maybe it could be I like English, but I like French very much. It would be but also. We have like two or three possibilities, but in this case, because we are talking about two different things, and you're saying that you like even more one of them than the other one, in this case, we will have to use one that is specifically to 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 connect two sentences and we just have one conjunction what is that one and and mm -hmm. so number one it is i like english and i like french very much oh <laughs> okay number two okay my brother likes math but but he doesn't like history. Correct. Why do we have to use but over there? Because we are giving like a result, a result of mm. why he doesn't like math or a result of why he does another thing. So number three. The children forgot their homework, so the teacher was angry with them. Correct. So the teacher was angry with them. Correct. Number four. Can you read or 
write English words? Repeat it again, Basilia. Can you read or write English words? Okay. Is it correct what she said? And correct. Thank you, Stephanie. It and. is can you read and write English words? Because we are come or like we are getting two different things to connect. So when we have two different things to connect, the only one that we're going to use it is and even though some of the other ones can still make sense, right? But we, mm -hmm. can, we have two things, we need to use and. Okay, the next one, number five. Are the questions right or wrong? Correct. Mm -hmm. Are the questions right or wrong? Very good. Number six. Okay, the number series is great and it's funny and it's fun. Very good. It is great and it's fun. Thank you. The next one. Seven. Would you like tea and hot chocolate for your breakfast? Okay, in this case, uh, I understand that we are talking about two different things, right? But because we are asking, do you remember when we saw the type of questions? When do we use when do we use there's a uh, conjunction that we use when we have two things and we want to know which one we want to pick or we our have, choice of choice but there's a conjunction that we use there what is that one or or so number seven is going to be would you like tea or chocolate for breakfast? Why? Because when we saw the question of choice, we have a decision to take a decision between two things. This is not the same as um, making like to, to connect. It's not the same to connect because in this one, we have to make a decision, right? So number eight. It drives beautifully. Number eight. Oh, I'm sorry, don't listen. Uh, our car is old, but it's drive beautiful. Right. Our car is old, but it drives beautifully. All right. Number nine. Perfect. Okay, teacher. It was very warm um, so we all went swimming very good it was very warm so we all went swimming thank you number 10 do we have french or music after the break very good or thank you so on part number two who is going to be the first one because I told Candida, but she said that she connected uh, late, so she doesn't know what you were working on. So I'm going to ask any volunteer, so any volunteer that would like to help me with the first example on part number two. The bot could not move since there was no wind. Okay, so we could say, the boat could not move since there was no wine. Can I, let me ask you, can I change that in another way around? Yes. Yeah. Can I do it? Since there was no wind, the boat could not move. Perfect. Very good. So I can say the boat could not move since there was no wind, or I can say since there was no wind, the boat could not move. Thank you. Number two of part number two. Who did I say? The eight or four. 
Okay. So I, I might need a volunteer though. Me, teacher. Uh, there are you out through the day out. They eat all your flowers. Can you repeat it again, Ricardo? Yeah, they are cute all through. They all they eat all your flower. Okay, so you said deer are cute, although they eat all flower flowers. I'm sorry. Is that what yes. you said? Yes. Okay. For the other ones, let me ask you, let me see Karen Melendez, is that right what he said? I think it's right, but I know here could are cute and true, they eat all your flowers. Yo lo que lo que no me acuerdo es si es esa expresión no es de las que iba al final de la de la oración. No estoy seguro. All right, so there, there we there are we going. So Something like that. So does any one of you understood it in a different way? Yes. What do you have, Cynthia? Hmm? What do you have? Me. Uh, uh, also, the, also, they eat all your flowers. They are cute. Okay, I think that we're getting kind of confused over here because if we try to say that in Spanish, although they, um, they yield your flowers, they are cute, aunque ellos se comen todas sus flores, eh, mm -hmm. los siervos son lindos. Yeah. Remember that although, it means aunque, right? So mm -hmm. when we say aunque, we are giving kind of, estamos uh, dando como una tentativa, right? We're making that they could possibly do it or they cannot. What if I say, mm -hmm. although they are cute, aunque los siervos son bonitos, ellos mm -hmm. comen todas sus flores, right? No, 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 no. Can I change all That's the way around? How would it be if I change it all the way around? Can someone tell me? Even though deer eat all your flowers, they are cute. Let me see, can I change it in a different way, Reynaldo? No, oh, I, I don't do it this uh, sentence. You didn't do it? No, because I confused the, the, um, donde se pone la, la, la palabra, I'm sorry. How about you, Stephanie Roxana? I use, um, um, I just did with deer are cute. Also, they eat all your flowers. It can be. So we have like three possibilities to do it, right? We can change it, the conjunction at the beginning. It can be in the middle. And we can change it from the beginning to the end as well. Yes? We're going to see that uh, in, in at any moment later on. So the last one, so we're going to go directly, directly to the topic. Let me, let me see, we need to help me with the last one, please, if you don't mind. Or she got praised. Can I, teacher? Yes, go ahead, thank you. I took my umbrella as it was raining. Is there another way that I can say it, Katya? Thank you so much, Stephanie. Okay. Is there another way that I can say it? Oh. As it was raining, I took my umbrella. 
Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but I see that some people disconnected, probably because uh, apparently in most parts of El Salvador, it's already raining because here I can listen in the roof that it started to rain over here. Probably that's the reason why. So um, we're going to see uh, for the ones that did not remember about this topic, we're going to see once again a little bit about it. So um, we're going to go directly to the to some of the rules. So here we have. Uh, so one of the very important things that we need to remember is that there is not a special form for conjunctions. And I see that most of you are getting troubles on this. Why? Because you don't understand where you have to put that it, if it needs to be at the end, if it's going to be in the middle, or if it's going to be at the very beginning. I understand that it can be kind of confusing at the very beginning, but you have to keep in mind this. There is no special form for conjunctions. So you don't have to like memorize specifically where it's going to be. As long as it makes sense uh, in, the, in the sentence that will also help you to, to know or to understand how it's going to be. So uh, let me see. Do you remember why do we put a comma over there? And the example with but, the water was warm, comma, but I didn't go swimming. Does any of you remember why do we put a comma? Because it's separate, uh, because it's separate two ideas central de la oración. All right, so. Independent cloud and, um, I, 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 I forgot, dependent clouds and result clouds. Okay, very good. So what happened if I move at the beginning or if I say, but I didn't go to swimming, the water was warm. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Yes. Why? Because he's an independent sentence. Okay, very good. So let's see in the one that it says, I went swimming, although it was cold. Can I say, although it was cold, I went, I went swimming? Yes. Although it was cold, I went and swimming. What, what do I have to put if I change although at the beginning? If I say, although it was cold, I went to swimming. What do I have to put before starting the new clothes? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. no? That's boy. No, teacher, I don't remember. It was a comma. For example, very easy. For example, if I move although at the beginning, and if I say although it was called comma, I went swimming. But if I have the conjunction at the, in the middle that goes with the other uh, clause, I don't need to use a comma. That's just for grammar, like punctuation. You don't have to worry about that. I was just asking just to verify if you remember that rule. So coordinating conjunctions are the easy ones to remember. At the beginning of the class, I asked someone of you, what are the coordinating conjunctions? Do you remember the acronym that we The, the acronym fanboy. is FANBOYS. FANBOYS. And what that FANBOYS stands for? Can someone tell me? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Very good. Those are the easy ones to remember, right? Fanboys, nor, for, I'm sorry, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So, 
here we have again some examples. And uh, as you can see there on the red letters, do not forget putting a comma before putting the conjunctions. As you can see there, before the conjunctions, we will always have to put a comma. And that, that is because of grammar punctuation. In the only one that it could be an exception for you, it is in the, in the end. That's the only one. It is up to you whether you put it or not. But all the other ones, it is mandatory to put it. Yes? The only one that you decide to put it or not, it is end. But the other ones, you will have to do it. Do you know what nor is? Ni. Ni. And we have a synonym with, with something. What's the synonym for nor? Do you remember that class? Neither. Neither, correct, neither. So um, here we have, for example, and the first part uh, for the coordinating conjunction four, I will need some help. Reynaldo, can you help me please? Excuse me, I don't, I don't listen. Can you help me reading the four sentence? The four sentence, but Betty ran no, to get- No, 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 I, I mean the first one for four. Do you understand? The first no. sentence, right? That is for the coordinating conjunction four. Not the fourth one. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Okay, just read the first one though. The first one. The first one. Okay, four. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Four. Uh, from prefer to drive in the country for there is often less traffic. Okay, do you remember what did I say that in this case for means? Because we know, we know that for means for, right? Or para sometimes. But in this case, when it comes to coordinating conjunctions, it has like a different meaning. Por qué? Por qué, right? Por qué? So, it would say, Frank prefiere manejar o conducir en el país porque muy a menudo hay menos tráfico. Hay menos tráfico muy a menudo. See? Do not get confused in that because we know that in English, for by itself means para or por. But when it comes to coordinating conjunctions, it will means it will have the same meaning as because. Okay, so uh, thank you, Karen. Uh, let me see, Joaquin, help me reading number two, please. Okay. Abby eats hamburger and she also enjoys milkshakes. Okay, thank you. Number three, uh, Basilia. No. Nelly doesn't like red shoes, nor does she like violet blue. Blow. Okay. Violet. Okay. Let me see. Any other volunteer to help me with but? Me, teacher. Karen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Betty ran to the grocery. But he had closer at six o'clock. Okay, very good. Who said me before? Um, before uh, Ricardo, I heard someone say me, and then okay, who was it? Erling, was it you? No. Mr. Karen. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Karen. 
Okay. Or Otto will eat lunch on campus or he will skip aiding to a study. Okay. Thank you. Joaquin, help me with that, please. Okay, yet, Joshua knows class starts at nine, yet he frequently arrives late. Do you know what yet means in that context? Yet? Pero. Pero. Correct. So thank Pero. you. And mm -hmm. let me see the last one. See, Liliana Melendez, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, help me with the last one, please. Sally hates to be late for class, so she always leave, leave home at A. Okay, guys, thank you, um, Liliana. With these ones, we need to be really careful because with the coordinating conjunctions, we cannot move all the way around. I cannot say, for there is often less traffic, Frank prefers to drive in the country. And these ones, we need to be really careful because some of them, you can move them, but some of them you cannot. For example, for the coordinating conjunction four, we cannot change it. That means we cannot use it at the beginning. We cannot say, for there is often less traffic, Frank prefers to driving in the country. We cannot do that. With and, we cannot do it as well. But with nor, we can do it. We can say, nor does she like blue, violet blouses, Nelly doesn't like red shoes. In that one, we can do it. The only ones that we can do it, it is. Nor, jet, see? Those are the only ones that we can actually do it. The other one, for, and, but, and, or, and so, we cannot change it. Keep that in mind, please so you cannot make the mistake in the future, okay? So remember, the only ones that we can move at the beginning is going to be nor and jet. So I can say, jet, he frequently arrives late, Joshua knows, class starts at nine. We can do that only with nor and jet, okay? So here we go with the ones that are kind of difficult because to understand it's a little bit difficult because some of you got confused in that. So in these ones, the subordinating conjunctions, do you remember that we have a dependent clause and an independent clause, right? So the place where, where we supposed to put the, coordinate, the subordinating conjunction is before the dependent clause. Yes, always is going to be in that way. As you can see here, first we have the independent clause and then the dependent one. But the difference from the coordinating conjunctions to the subordinating conjunctions is that the subordinating conjunctions, we can always move. For example, and the example over there, it says Ram went swimming. Although it was raining, I can easily move. Although it was raining, Ram went swimming, and the change will or, or the meaning it will still be the same. The idea it will still be the same. That's the main difference that we have between the coordinating conjunctions and the subordinating conjunctions. Because as if you remember, with the coordinated ones, we just have two that we can actually move but the other ones, we can never move them, okay? But in this case, with the subordinating conjunctions, there is no problem. You can move it at the beginning or it can be in the middle as the way it is right there. 
and the meaning will still be the same and there won't be any problem. So, and here we have the explanation. Let's see, let me just move this a little bit. God, this is not working. I don't know what's going on with my internet. It's not working well today. Probably because of the rain. All right. So this is what I was telling you guys. As you can see here, we have the same example. When that subordinating conjunction goes before the dependent clause, it's not necessary for you to use a comma. But when we have an example like this, that we move it at the beginning, we would always need to use a comma. Why? Because in that way, we're letting, we're letting to the reader know, or to our teacher know, that that is the dependent clause, and the one that goes before the comma, it is the independent clause. Is it clear, guys? because I feel that, that I'm talking to myself today right now. Is there any yes. questions? It's been clear. It is something that you want me to reinforce. Any information that you didn't understand that well, just tell me, whatever. Or there's no questions at all? It is clear. Okay. So let's continue with this. All right, so here we have the most common coordinating conjunctions. And let me see. I remember that when we saw, uh, when we were in this class, I asked you for the pronunciation. So let me see if you have been practicing on the pronunciation. Let me ask Katya. Tell me the pronunciation of the first line of this one the first one just the first line okay after also as before before if once 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 okay let me see Karen Melendez the second the second part please since down tov on top while whereas has much as. Okay, let me hear you, Stephanie Roxana, last part, please. As long as, even so, whenever, by the time, only, once, only if. Okay, so I'm going to repeat it one more time. After, although, although, as, because, before, if, once, since, done, though, until, while, whereas, as much as, as long as, even though, whenever, by the time, only, once, only if. Okay, with that being said, let me ask Joaquin, help me with the last part, with the third one. I cannot hear you, Joaquin. I see your mouth moving, but I cannot hear you. Now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, as long as, even though, whenever, by the time, only, once, only if. Basilia, help me with the part in the middle, please. Find. In. Then. Sing. Then. So. Until. While. Whereas. As much as. Okay. The number three, we stated though. Sing. So. Then. Though. Until, while, where, as, as much as, okay? Reinaldo, the first part, please. 
after, out, outro, as, also, because, also. also, after, also, as, because, before, if, one. Okay. So please, guide, try to uh, take a picture of this right now because we're going to practice with the ones that we have here. Let me know when you took the picture, okay? Yeah, teacher. Done, okay, perfect. So, what I want you to do right now. So, I want you to make a sentence or two sentences actually using one of the coordinating conjunctions. Any example that you may have, but do it by yourself. Do it right now. I will give you, let me see. I will give you two minutes to do it. Teacher, can you put another um, last, last slide, please? Okay. Let's see. Okay, here you have. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, so you have two minutes. Let me know when you're done. Say, okay, done, okay? So I will know that you're done. Remember, two sentences by yourself. Please try to do it by yourself. Do not go to check that on the internet. Teacher, the subordinating all the all conjunction. No, the, the subordinating ones, the one from the chart. Okay, okay. Let me know when you're done. Did you finish already? No jet? I finished teacher. Okay, so give me your example, please. Okay. I am... I am happy because today is my birthday. Oh, it is actually your birthday? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, why, did you, why didn't you say nothing? So happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, I hope you enjoy your day. So congratulations to you. May the Lord bless your yes. life yes. and give you so many cheers, okay? Don't ask me how much. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I'm not gonna ask you, okay? I understand. <laughs> Most of the time, you know, one. Okay. okay, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And tell me example number two, please. Okay. I, will make I, am, I am working in Metapan since I was young. Okay, very good. Thank you. And one more time, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Show me your examples, please. I do exercise because I need for my health. Okay, very good. Uh, if you speak English very well, maybe you 
conseguir trabajo, what do you say? You will get a job. If you speak English very well, will you a job? Will you will get a job? You you get a job. But in that case, Vasilia, I cannot see any conjunctions over there. If you oh if I, you, okay, if, okay, okay, got it. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, okay. All right, thank you so much. Anyone else? Um, uh, me, it's John. Go ahead, Ricardo. Okay, uh, tell me if it's okay, okay? Um, oh. only if you tell me if we're going to have class tomorrow, I will my, make my sentence. You want that a sentence or, or, or that? Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got it. Okay, number two. Um, that this is the the only one I make. Oh, you did only one? No, no. no. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anyone else, guys? Sure. I have that. Uh, I will, uh, the form. Hola, uh, cómo La oración que yo dije estaba correcta, en, así en la forma en que la dije. It was actually right. I was kind of surprised because I thought you were telling that to me. But then I realized <laughs> that, that it was your actual, your actual sentence. Yeah. That's okay. It was good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So anyone else? Mi teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Reinaldo. I didn't, I didn't homework because my dog eat it. Repeat it one more time. I didn't homework because my dog eat it. I don't, I don't, I don't actually get your sentence. Are you trying to say that you, I didn't do my homework? Yes, I didn't do my homework. Okay. Because um, my dog eat it. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, number two. And number two, I will do the job only if give the tool. Repeat it again. I will do the job only if give give me the tool. I will do the job only if you give me the tools. Is that right? Okay, yes, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Anyone else? Me teacher. Teacher. Me teacher. Okay, okay. Me Wait, Joaquin, it's gonna be first okay. Karen and then it's gonna be you, okay? Perfect. Oh. Thank you. I like to see the news because I like to be informed. Okay, very good. Number and the second is after work, I like to do exercise. Very good. Thank you so much, Karen. Joaquin, go ahead. Okay. Peter couldn't go to, to the gym, although he was ready. Very good. Number two. Um. <laughs> Um, only that, teacher. You only, only have that. One? Okay. I'm still missing. Okay. Uh, I am still missing Stephanie, Erlene, Eunice, Liliana. Anyone I else? have one teacher. Hey, just tell me what you have. No problem. Uh, I can't listen to class because it is raining. Okay. Good. Let me and see. And the chance. second one, um, I got a job since I graduate. Okay. Very good. Anyone else? The last one? Me. Okay, Liliana, go ahead. I would like to visit my friends on Sunday. 
but I can't I can because I have to study. Very good. You have another example? Me, teacher. Okay. Early. And my family needed a vacation, so we went to the beach. And the other, I like to cook, but my mother is better. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. and happy birthday, Kaya. Oh yeah, Katia, she didn't. She didn't. Thank you. My <laughs> friend was right. She was distracted because of the, of the okay. celebrating on her mind, okay? Okay, guys, um, it is almost time. Well, the time is already done. Just let me tell you, thank you guys for being on the class. It was a pleasure for me to help you or to guide you through this process. I know you that you are going to another module. So um, once again, it was a pleasure for me to be with you. I'm not sure if I'm going to be with you next module, probably not, but just keep in mind that it was a pleasure for me to help you all. So I know that you're intelligent. I know that you're going to learn a little bit more and keep on doing what you're doing, okay? Never give up, just keep on working on that, okay? So once again, before going, congratulations, Katya. So I hope you enjoy your day and many more dears for you, okay? So thank you so much guys for being such a nice group and for always participating. And well, that's all for today. And thank you, time. teacher. And it was a pleasure thank one more time. Thank you, teacher, for teaching. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher, thanks. It was a pleasure. Bye. 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 See you next Good time. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night.